DJ Arnold. DJ Arnold. DJ Army.
DJ Army Army DJ Arnold. DJ Army. DJ Army.
DJ Army. Army. DJ Army. DJ Army.
बॉलर नहीं अमन अमन अमनदीप अमनदीप अमन अमनदीप अमनदीप सिंह सो नाइस ऑन इस लाइव Hello and welcome everybody to uh, Hawthorne Park and Riverview for the Eastern T20 Tournament 2021 edition hosted by Cricket New Brunswick. Uh it has been uh, the ground conditions did not allow us to start until now but uh we have a 10 over uh innings per side. It's a it's a reduction of the overs. Right now, Amandeep is uh, bowling for uh, for the second over. Yeah, PA is down one wicket. Uh, CNB is strong. Started very strongly. The weather conditions are one of the best you'll get in New Brunswick in a while. So glad uh, cricket is finally getting to take center stage versus ground and uh, anything else. The players' uh, passion has to be commended for it. Parth Patel had scored a very good half century. in the recently concluded maritime cup which was instrumental in pei winning the first cup uh, at that time and he is that's going to take strike that was a good shot by path cover driven for two runs it will be quite challenging for uh, for the batsmen to start off because they need to assess the ground how it is how is the ball traveling across and it's a new ground for everybody all five teams that was edge behind by path is running away to the boundary line that's a completion of the over and pi is 1 1 pi is 8 runs one wicket seems like uh, harman is going to bowl his last uh, allotted overs it's very critical uh, in t20 or in uh, t10 any format where the number of deliveries are short keep rotating the singles because you will get the bad ball to strike it away but if you don't rotate uh, strike you could possibly putting unnecessary pressure on yourself and seems like both the batsmen are they targeting in that same sense so it looks good good start by both the captains despite the loss of one of the openers and that ball has been gone for six well played by sanu
there and now we have to go and see like if it's nearby we can get it if it's very deep we won't be able to find it the ball has been lost hence we a replacement ball had to be put on field it was a very good strike by sanu down the leg side effortlessly almost that was a good change by harman quickly realizing what he needs to do Uh, just for our viewers, it may feel a little confusing that despite a bright day, why are the fielders having towels in the back of their pockets and rubbing it? Uh, we have had uh, pretty hard rain for the past two days, where it almost made it very difficult to start play. Hence, you see the towels to make keep the ball dry. That was the completion of Herman's allotted two overs, 11 runs, one wicket, almost uh, below six runs and over. Very good bowling by him. Arjun Sharma is going to be the next bowler starting for the fourth over. Arjun Sharma is an off spinner in the CNB league. He's well known to uh, deceive the best batsmen and even control the flow of runs which is very critical in uh, T10 kind of formats because where batsmen are trying to rotate strike and hit the odd boundary. Seems like Arjun Sharma is struck in his first ball for CNB this season. What a beautiful wicket. Yeah. And a good catch by Kunal Shah from uh, from um, from the Greater Moncton area. Very well judged. Uh, and uh, a very important note: he is the vice captain of CNB for this tournament. Seems like uh, with the responsibility, he's stepping up as well. The new batsman in is Fahad Ahmed, a one of uh, one of the very good recognized players of PEI. He has been serving the province for a long time and he is known to show a very good performance. Uh, this will be his first outing in Riverview. It's very critical in this kind of formats. So you've got to keep taking wickets. You may hit get by an odd six or a four. That's okay, but you need to take wickets. That's how you're going to chase a lesser target. Good. That was a very good Ahmed by uh, by short by Fahad Ahmed. As soon as he came to crease, he took two runs. Well run. I apologize to Parth uh, Patel, the captain of uh, PEI. Thank you, Dhruv. That was a difficult length for the batsman to hit, get underneath it, but he still took a single, very quick one. In this kind of uh, format where the overs are 10 overs, the bowling team has to complete in 45 minutes or the 55th ball has to be bowled at the beginning of the 45th minute. Otherwise, uh, that's when they could be into time delay. And as I speak, Fahad Ahmed hit another shot to the leg side, recovered by Amandi. Very well, he's, he looks very well positioned for a good uh, runs today. This will put pressure on the bowler, but let's see how the bowler responds back to it. Oi. 
and that's four runs struck by Fahad. But, but sorry, by Parth Patel. Seems like I keep mixing up between Parth and Fahad for some odd reason. I apologize to my viewers. Parth Patel is continuing his very rich form since PEI two weekends ago, where he was, he really played a captain's innings to build a very uh, formidable target against CNB. And he seemed to be continuing right over here. That's the completion of the over. PEI has scored 24 runs, 2 wickets at the end of 4 overs for a uh, current run rate of six, uh, 6 runs per over. Looks good. They could keep building up from here on out. Twenty-four. And uh, Vice Captain Kunal Shah has come to uh, bowl the fifth over the innings. He's a very smart and intelligent cricketer uh, that CNB is uh, fortunate to have in our midst. And you will get to see his talent uh, on display over here. Fahad took a single to point and immediately rotated strike to Parth. Parth was looking very in ominous form to take con to control continue where he left two weekends ago. That's smart batting, I'll admit. And as I mentioned to you, Path looks to be in a very rich vein of form. He just smoked that six runs over long off. And uh, and again, it's it's looking good for PEI. PEI run rate is creeped up above seven runs and over at this time. A little more hits like this is going to give make PEI very comfortable to, to defend their target. Ball is back on field, and we will, we will resume uh, playing. Single taken by Path, very intelligent. You just hit, just hit, hit big one, rotate the strike. Let's see you uh, with the bowler in pressure. How he responds to the other batsman. There is an appeal for a court behind and he's been given. And the batsman is Fahad Ahmed, the dangerous batsman. Kunal Shah struck in his very first over. And as mentioned earlier, wickets keep tumbling. It's just going to continue, uh, it's going to be good for CNB. Priyam Soni. The next batsman in is going to be Priyam Soni. Once again, he was one of the another batsmen who was in top form during the recently concluded Maritime Cup. As you can see, the stats guys are getting pulled up. You get to see with about a lot of very uh, deep in analytics to see what they score, what a, what a dismissal time. Very good app. Stay there. How long does it stay on screen? Okay, if, if do, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
it's Priyam Sony who's going to take strike. It's slightly, the run rate of PEI is slightly below 7, but that shouldn't concern them a lot because they are going, they're playing very intelligent strokes. It is just not slogging. And Priam is off, off, is off strike. There's a quick single, down covers. This is one thing very good over the PI batsman. There's very good eye contact, no hesitation. They, their partner calls and they go for it. That's very good. You shouldn't have uh, loose wickets through runouts because that's where you, that could stem your flow of runs. But very intelligent cricket by PEI, I'll uh, say. This is what's going to help you. Hit the odd boundary, take the singles. Make it doubles if you can. Parth Patel hit that in the air, down extra cover for two runs. On another day, on this ground, this ball would have gone, would have travelled for four runs, but because of the dampness, that's why the ball didn't travel. But and that's a completion of the over, and PEI at this moment is 35 runs, three wickets, and exactly seven runs per over. With Parth Patel starting off very well, 25 runs of 19 balls with one hit over the fence and one hit, another hit to the fence. The next bowler is going to be Sakib Shehzad. He's, uh, he's one of the cap, he's, uh, he was previously, he was a captain of CNB and he will be continuing from this end. He's a very, he's a very smart bowler. That's a quick single once again, as noted earlier. PI is very good in uh, go going for the quick singles, no hesitation, very good communication. That's very good for this kind of format. And this board wells very for the talent in uh, in the Maritime as well as the Atlantic region of Canada. That was a stumping appeal by Gautam and Sakip may have, would have bowled a faster one over there. Let's get it through. There was a run out chance. But looks like batsman path is increased. A little bit about this ground, uh, Hawthorne Park. It's located in Riverview, New Brunswick. It's very picturesque. If you stand at the at the bowling end at this moment, you get to see the downtown Moncton view. You can see from there. Well as in the background, there is a neighborhood of uh, Riverview. It's a, located in a very good area. Beautiful day and uh, glad cricket has is being played on such a beautiful day. It's very commendable of all the administrators, staff, volunteers and anybody involved in getting the ground ready to be played. Uh, one thing that unites this region is cricket and you can see the passion that drives everybody to play. Divang from Long On made sure that it was single by uh, by Park, and that brings Priyam Sony on strike. That ball was in the air hit by Priyam, but he's safe. Divang uh, has usual is a gun fielder for CNB. You cannot take him lightly, he can't uh, chance his arm. And that has been under edge towards fine leg by Park for another single. 
it's critical in this kind of a format you keep taking single rotate strikes you will get the odd boundary it's going to be very interesting to note what will be PEI strategy in the last four overs as they do have seven wickets on hand because it's very critical not just to go get chase those runs but also have make sure that your bowlers have something to defend this is currently the uh, last ball of the sixth over it's a uh, over completed and it's going to be continued by Sh Arjun Sharma this is the seventh over That was a leg by, and but that brings back uh, Priyam on strike. Well hit by Priyam. The ball did not travel all the way, but he's got a single for it. On another given day, this shot would have traveled to the boundary because it was a very well struck uh, hit by Priyam Soni. That's because it was full toss about the waist height, and that's going to be a that's going to be a free hit as well. So that's a double whammy for the for CNB team. Four runs were given, and now it's going to be a free hit. In a free hit, a batsman can only be dismissed by run out, obstructing the field, and there's a third one. So fielding team has to be aware of it. That was a faster one by Arjun. Only a single to square leg. So no da damage done by PEI during the free hit. That was a very well struck hit by Priyam Soni for six runs down long on. As has mentioned earlier, he was in very rich vein of form just two weekends ago in Mary, in PEI, and seems to be in uh, pretty ominous and seems to be continuing in it. That puts a lot of pressure on Arjun Sharma, and there's another hit coming, and that also is going for six runs. PEI seems to be moving along at a faster clip at this moment and in hurry of the over PEI at the end of seven overs has scored 60 runs for the loss of three wickets at the rate of eight and a half runs per over looking very strong for a very strong finish in the last three overs and the, both the batsmen seem to be warmed up pretty well let's see what CNB can do to stem the flow of runs and it looks like Rakshit Sharma aka Raja has been given the ball he will be coming in from the neighborhood end mm. 
That's one run uh, taken off Raja, and that brings Path on strike. There was an observation made that because of moisture in the pitch, that's why the ball is slowing down as it comes to the batsman. So that could be advantageous. Whose truck is that? The GMC truck. Yeah, it's mine. Move it. Okay. Cause bro, you almost lost your window. <laughs> Can somebody Yo, look, make sure, make sure if you want to be cleaning up glass for tonight, move it.
or I'm back to uh, resume my comment commentary duties. So I had to protect my interest. My truck was in the line of sight. Now it's since it's safe, I'm back to commentary. The bowl is completed by Amandeep uh, Singh, one of the most valuable bowlers uh, in the Middle East Maritime Cup. And you can see his bowling figures: two overs, eight runs, one wicket. In this format, it's gold for any captain. I'm sure his captain Gautam Karwadi would be very happy with him. PI score reads. 75 runs, 5 wickets at the end of 9 overs at 8 runs, 0.33 run rate. Very healthy. But how much do they need to get to make sure they are able to do their balls to defend is something we'll only know at the end of this over and the next innings. So do stay tuned. It will be Raksha Sharma. Raja Sharma will be bowling the last over. Oh, that was a potential caught and bowl. Firmly struck by the batsman Chris Deep, who himself was a he scored a fast fifth, fastest 50 in PEI in the Maritime Cup, and he seems to be continuing the same hitting form. That's firmly struck by Chris Deep for six runs on long on, despite uh, Devang's best attempts. Very strong batsman and very intelligent. Anything, the margin of error with him is very limited or maybe none. Let's see how the bowler Raja responds to this next delivery. Empire signals wide. That was a little far away for the batsman to make any impact with. Firmly hit by the batsman towards mid wicket area, and because of Herman's uh, good outfield, the ball is uh, run score just to one. You can say English. Eh? <laughs> Ooh, that was a faster one by Raja. Now you know why he's well recognized in CNB league. At times, it's been noted that his speed is so fast that you cannot uh, spot the ball. And I believe that has not come off the bat. Let's see what the umpire signals. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. Uh, it did come off the bat because the umpire did not signal uh, leg buys. That's, but as commentators we learn, never pro forecast what the empires will do. Will the empires themselves know what they're going to do? And that has been smoked down the ground by the batsman Navjot. And that, has, and that boundary over there is one of the shortest boundaries in this park, measured at 51.5 meters. I'm sure that cleared 60 meters. At this time, the innings has been completed and PEI score reads as 90 runs, 5 wickets, 9 runs per over, very healthy. We will please stay, hold on for uh, CNB to respond their response and we'll see how much is good. Hold on over here. 91 runs. A little introduction of uh, this Eastern Tournament. It's one of the premier tournaments of Cricket Canada for the provinces of Quebec, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Islands and Newfoundland Labrador. It happens every year. Last year due to COVID, uh, the tournament was, ca was cancelled. But fortunately, we are very uh, fortunate that we are able to play this tournament in New Brunswick this year. Uh, teams have travelled far and wide for this tournament and you can see their passion on the field. These are all very quality players, very well deserving for their positions in the provincial squad. 
we would all uh, of, of the squad and that's why it's very rare. but we also want to take a special mention of all the sponsors at this time who have given their uh, support to make the tournament happen we would first and foremost like to thank first choice hair cutters uh, they have three locations in riverview moncton and dep very quality hairdressers at a very good price next we have india king moncton this catering for the entire tournament has been done by india king moncton very good food at very good rate and we, uh, if you do have a chance to visit the restaurant in downtown moncton uh, we highly recommend it next we also want to thank arjit's uh, business solutions we are one of the very strong uh, business businessmen located in st john always supportive of the local community and this time he is supporting uh, cricket new brunswick in um, uh, riverview we would like to thank them but last the lord not the least we want to extend our biggest thanks and gratitude to town of riverview who were able to make the ground ready and uh, and make it very in playable condition we want to thank them and we hope for, a, for continue for the success with this ground for any for the cricket tournaments there is a break going on for change in uh, innings cnb cricket new brunswick will be taking strike it was over pen pen do you anybody pen over here?
Good. All right, we are we are back live uh, for the second innings as resumed. Cricket New Brunswick has started the reply, and they've started in a hurry because they have to score 91 runs in 10 overs. That was a good hit by Anvesh. Cricket New Brunswick is five runs and three balls. Started very well. Let's see in the next three balls what they do. That has been hit down the ground. A little bit over the bowler, Sufian Chaudhary. He was the MVP of the final between uh, in the Maritime Cup. He had taken five wickets. He's a very wily spinner, very intelligent. Just go for toss. Just go for toss. As you can notice in this format, the chasing team has to go has to go all out. That was a that even though it didn't look pretty, but it got one run for the team, which is very valuable. You need to keep uh, rotating the strike. That is a very hit by good hit by Gautam to end the over. That is a very strong hit by Gautam Karwadi. A little bit of Gautam Karwadi. He has been one of the prolific run scorers in cricket New Brunswick and in all maritime and eastern tournaments. Very dangerous batsman. He has his reputation precedes him. The margin of error is almost nil with him. Because if you if you make a mistake, he's going to make you regret, and that's what he did exactly just now. So CNB start looks very strong. 13 runs at the first over, 78 runs in 54 balls. It looks very challenging because this PEI team is very strong and determined to uh, defend the target. The next bowler for is going to be Priyam Soni. Will uh, start the second over, and Anvesh will be taking strike against him. Priyam Soni The Empire signal wide for that That's a run for uh, Cricket New Brunswick Which I'll welcome with open hands That was a good one by Priyam Stump to stump Giving the batsman no room Making him to do all the efforts and hard work. We we'll try to cut the ball. And that has been a very handsome stroke by Anvish Puli. Long on. He has been very prolific score form for his club in Fredericton, Lawless Club. And he seems to be covering it in CNB. Boards very well for CNB. We're looking at 18 runs of 8 balls very strong performance by CNB can they maintain this momentum as much as it's important to take the quick singles it's very important not to lose wicket was due to a misunderstanding. Very good decision by both batsmen at the end. By signal by uh, Empire Ivor Roach. Very well experienced Empire from Quebec Cricket Federation who is very experienced and also empires regularly as well manager coordinates the empires in um, in the Quebec uh, uh, Federation League Gautam tried to hit this one outside but didn't connect Priyam got Priyam bowls a very valuable dot ball for PEI dot balls in this format is 
is really bigger than gold at this time if there's a market value for it that is the over is completed cnb score reads 19 runs for the loss of no wicket in two overs almost 10 runs in over sufian chaudhary sufian chaudhary continues to bowl very smart intelligent bowler it's very critical with the ba both the batsmen not to lose wicket to him but he is also not easy to play him either that was well bowled by sufian turned away from the left handed anvesh poli empire has given one warning seems like it's been assigned to the keeper we'll get more details after the break meanwhile sufian is just going through his ball overs as quickly as possible another dot ball this is going to build pressure on cnb both the batsmen it's very critical not to lose form but maintain your level headedness and hit the ball See, this is where experience plays a part. Sufian has been bowling for PEI for quite some time now, and he's bringing all his valuable experience to, to display, making PEI more in a very stronger position. Another one. At this rate, if Sufian bowls, he could possibly blow a maiden over, which would make it very difficult for cricket New Brunswick. and add pressure on them as well anvesh gets one down the leg side for a single sufian will have to bowl differently for gautam who's going to come on strike Oh, it's an over. Very, very well bowled by Sufian. Two overs, thirteen runs came back very strongly from his first over, and now it's CNB score reads twenty runs in three overs, less than seven runs in over, and run rate required goes about ten runs in over, double digits. And that's Priyam Soni who's going to continue bowling. Uh, just as a as a notice to all the re as the viewers the power play would have been overs number 1 to 3 and so this would have been the end of power play so maximum five fielders can be outside the 30 yard circle and priyam soni strikes first ball of his over anvesh is clean bowled that's going to put pressure on cnb there was quite uh, no runs and now anvesh is dismissed next batsman is going to be sakib shehzad one of one of the very well experienced and exceptional leaders from cricket new brunswick as well as st john his his statistics and performance talks for themselves This format is very unforgiving. You have to either hit out or you have to get out because the number of deliveries is almost less. Right now, CNB has to chase 71 runs in 42 balls. It looks difficult, but don't rule out CNB. It has to be noted that uh, both the batsmen were openers in Maritime Cup, and they had given very good starts. Uh, to uh, to cricket New Brunswick there seems like the pair is reunited. Let's see what they can do. There is no more power play. All five field there can be five fielders outside the 30 yard circle. It will be interesting. Mm -hmm. 
Sake placed it towards Shmirov and steals a quick single and gets Gautam back on strike. Very important. Either take singles or you hit out. The field PEI fielders has quick where they're taking singles are also quick on the field. Restricting the batting team to only one run. It's very important for fielding team during this time to build pressure. If you, you shouldn't definitely give boundaries, but at the same time you should restrict uh, runs to only single and make the batsmen work hard for the runs. As I speak, Sakip takes another run down the leg side for a single. And that was a well-struck six by Gautam Karwadi. He just smoked it down long on. It, as you can see the shot, it was sweetly timed. No slogging. And that brings CNB's uh, run rate above 7.5. And that's another shot. And it looks to be another six runs. Two back-to-back -back sixes for Chris Ertham, giving CNB some momentum after stalling the last over. The over has been completed. CNB score reads 35 runs, one wicket, and that's nearly nine runs an over. That's good for CNB. That was a very good over. Gautam in very dangerous form. 23 runs of nine balls, hit with three sixes, with a strike rate of 255%. Looking very dangerous. Harpit Dillon is coming to bowl for CNB. Uh, he is well noted to bowl those Yorkers, and it's not very easy to get away. It will be very interesting to see what he does now. He has got a very good set of runs. A CNB has to chase 56 runs and 36 balls. And they have the dangerous Gautam and the ever reliable Sakib at strike. Ball by Harpreet Dillon has, adv has advised earlier he is a very good bowler, very intelligent. That is shot by Sakib, but it's just going to be restricted to one run. There is a fielder patrolling the mid wicket region, gets the ball back for one run. That brings Gautam on strike. Empire signals one run. That was far too wide for uh, Gautam to make any strike. That is a good hit in the air and almost carrying to the field of uh, path. Gotham takes a single and uh, goes at the non-striker's end. Ah! 
That was a very good shot by Sakib, and that is going to the short boundary, and that's a well deserved hit for Sakib for CNB, giving six valuable runs. It looks the shorter end of the ground, but that would have even cleared any other boundary in any other grounds very easily. CNB's current run rate is slightly higher than the required run rate, which boards very well. Another strike, and that could be a quick single. No harm caused. No, no batsman dismissed. That was a very good hit by Gautam, and that is gone for six runs, and that should make CNB's 50. Very good hit by Gautam. He was a very good strike. I also have to introduce my co-partner Ruchit Vajrajani. He is going to be the, my fellow commentator, and will take over for the rest of the uh, eve afternoon. Richard, well, welcome to the commentary box. Thank you, Winston. Yes, as you mentioned, it's a very good shot. There was a fielder right there on the long on, but that doesn't matter when Gautam hits it. Parth Patel, the captain of CPI, was going to be a new bowler. He was very uh, difficult to play back there, and let's see what he brings to the field. Uh, but with Gautam, anything, nothing's uh, difficult, eh? Yeah, they both are betting like dream, you know, uh, ten runs from six bowls. Total five sixes, four by Gautam and uh, one by Sakib. Oh. That was very smart bowling by Parth Patel. He saw Sakib chasing down the crease. Or uh, the pitch, rather. Yes, it will depend on the control they have on the bowling. Oh, that's another valuable dot for PEI. It, it looks very, uh, it looks a challenging score, but at the same time, CNB is doing its level best to maintain two very well, very well uh, balanced team. Almost a wicket, for, uh, but then he's safe. Fielder was placed right for that shot. Sakib survives and Gautam is on strike. Yes, you are right, Winston. It says, as, as you have seen, that you know uh, it's kind of a couple of dot balls in the over, but it just takes two balls coming right into the bat of Gautam. Oh. There's an appeal for a leg before wicket. There's an appeal, but uh, bats uh, empire has not given out for it. It's Gautam survives for another for for another time. It's very interesting to note Gautam's strike rate is about 250 percent. It's very dizzy. It's very dizzy uh, runs uh, rate. What is accumulating runs over here? Yes, out of 11 balls he faced, four of them were out of the ground. <laughs> yes, he seems to be in a hurry. Oh wow, that was a good, very good shot, and he's and that's oh. that is dropped at the boundary line. Is that a six? That's a six. That's wow. a six. That's gonna hurt the bo uh, the fielding team. Everything went as per planned. Bowler bowled right there. Fielder was placed right there. It just came to the hands and out, in and out. And Gautam survives, and that's that's, that's number five for him. <laughs> that's number five six. <laughs> Seems to be he's dealing in sixes over here. Uh, Gautam uh, may uh, to be, uh, he may be hitting sixes, and he's dismissed unfortunately. Uh, Parth, his opposite number makes a comeback, unfortunately dismissed for 36 runs of 14 uh, balls. Played a very important role, and let's see how CNB controls the game from now onwards. Devang Satwani, that's uh, Cricket Moncton's uh, captain. 
and one of the very athletic fielders in CNB. Gautam really played a uh, captain's innings over there. He gave a very good start. Nothing can, he cannot be faulted. And it was, it was a very good ball by Parth. We have to, all have to admit that. So what do you say about Divang? Is it like like for like replacement or you think Divang playing a different role? I, I feel at this, un, uh, the, the way the nature of this format is so unforgiving, six overs are done. They have to take, uh, 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 I can't see the score. 33 runs from 24 balls. 33 runs so, from 24 balls. So, so it's something very much in control, just one shot. Per over. per over and then taking singles I think so or too. just two shots per over and yes. then have dot ball <laughs> and, and that's where see that's where, uh, where the communication between both batsmen is going to be very key over here because 33 from 24 is not an impossible task especially when you have eight wickets in hand and eight of the wickets are good good batsmen I think we uh, CNB does go down all the way to number 10 or number 11 what do you have to say, Ruchit, about that? Well, yeah, and uh, it's really, actually, uh, I believe PA got lucky over here. Uh, dropping Gautam is not an easy mm. situation to be in. Somehow but the wicket fell very next ball. Yes, I, I, I agree with you. It is almost uh, next. Because with this score, couple of hits and... Uh, that's Fahad Ahmed who's bowling. And that's in the air. Uh, Wicketkeeper Ad Darji is underneath it. And he takes a well-judged catch. So back-to-back -back wickets for uh, PEI were coming roaring back into the competition and now vice-captain of Skirke New Brunswick Kunal Shah makes his way. Uh, Richard, what do, what do you have assessment of Kunal? Have you seen him play before? I've seen him play really well. The situation here is like he's been a very good player uh, along with Divank as well, Kunal Shah. The situation here is that we now have two new batsmen right here. No, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. Yeah, because of the sun, it's... Uh, Divank is on strike. Yes. They rotated this. Uh, they they, they, they exchanged this. Uh, it's to be noted, Fahad Ahmed is a very intelligent and experienced bowler of PEI. This PEI bowling unit has been bowling for quite some time in at least three tournaments that I've part that I've been involved with. And uh, they seem to be settling very well. They know each other what are their roles over here. It's going to be interesting. It's not going to be easy if, uh, for any team over here. Very rightly said, Winston. He bowled a short ball to welcome Divank, and it was a very good ball to get Sakib out. Mm. It wasn't good length, but it was not half volley either. Yes. So it was right in the spot. You feel like you were gonna hit it out of the park, but but doesn't happen all the time. Yes. And that's where uh, the bowler's experience, uh, you know, comes to display. The more experience they have, they know what to do. They, it pressure doesn't make a difference. Once again, a te good testimony for the talent in the Maritime region. And that's a well hit by Devang. And that's gone. And that's gone for, that's gone for four runs. Devang has opened his account with a boundary. It appears that the fielder couldn't reach there. But to be very honest, if I was there, I would not even dare to touch that ball. <laughs> it would have gone like that a trace of bullet. bullet. That was a bullet. <laughs> As Ravi Shastri would say, that was a trace of bullet. That was a missed opportunity, but again, the ball was a faster one. I don't think uh, Devang had any op time to even make connection over there. And I think it was rising as well. It wasn't, uh, you know, properly short ball, but it was rising continuously. Yes, that would have made it difficult for him to get underneath it. But with the muscles you have like that, and you can hit shots like that, as I mentioned, it takes just two hits per over. That's a very good hit shot towards. Uh, squarish mid wicket and the field is looking good at this time uh, again a very hard test uh, very good testimony of the administrator the volunteers players everybody involved again the that uh, match started over here uh, this this uh, tournament is important for this region uh, because these are the only two tournaments this is one of the two tournaments premier tournaments uh, where all these five provinces get to clash with each other Right now, CNB's required run rate is eight, almost nine runs in over. Seems doable, but at the same time, they need to have those valuable hits. They need 28 runs in 19 balls. As Richard was saying, two hits, or, or what or what else do you have in mind? That was a faster one. 
I think the way they are betting right now, the idea is just connecting two balls per over. I think so too. You can have a couple of dot balls in an over, it's okay. And, and that's going with the strength. They have like seven wickets in, uh, on hand at this time. Uh, hold on. Park Patel. Oh, no. The next bowler is going to be Park Patel, the captain of PEI. He led his troops very well in the recent America where they became the first time champions of Maritime Cup in 2021 edition. It's a testimony of the hard work of PEI board and the players as well as the supporters. It's a very interesting juncture at this match. You don't have to go crazy but you have to get those runs. You have to rotate strike. Very rightly said, you know, we can say two hits per over, but you need to connect those two balls. And if they're bowling smart like this, it's not always easy. That was a good shot down long, long on, but it's going to be restricted only for one run. So Kunal takes strike. What do you think should be the idea right now? Should they see off part? He has been bowling well. He just got Gautam out, who was well set. See, the th the, the p p point is, uh, even though we have seven uh, CNB has seven wickets in hand, they have to rotate strike. They have to hit the odd bound. They have to hit the odd boundary because the number of overs are almost less than three overs. So it's it's a very tricky situation. I do want to uh, concede to you that yes, two hits to the boundary each over, I will get them to the finish line. But at the same time, you don't want to put pressure on your incoming batsman. You want to give your incoming batsman a chance to even play out something. Rightly. Or just finish it up right here. Don't let the new players come in. And they are listening to you right now. Two singles, two balls. There's an appeal for stump out. And the strikers in Empire has set that out. Devon survives. It has to be noted that the wicketkeeper of PEI has got quick hands and he, uh, he, he would have rightly gone up but uh, again the strikers in Empire made a correct, would have made a correct decision of declaring not out. Yes, he was really quick and he was really surprised that he was given not out. I think so, yeah. So out of 65, 5 are extras, 34 are in boundaries. And the run rate is finally creeping up uh, about 10 and a half, close to 10 and a half for over. So you've seen them playing. Yes. Who else do you think has overs left who can trouble C and B right now? I, that's very that's very uh, good question. I see there's another bowler, the Hardeep Dillon. As I mentioned to you, he's for me he's a Yorker specialist, and he's so on target. And, and how then many there is, he is left? and there he's a, he's got one over, and, and then the ever dependable Fahad Ahmed. He okay. is he's not easy to hit. Yeah, I he can just got sucky bout. So yes. yeah. So it you, that's why you need to take singles. You need to get that odd boundary. Don't leave it too late. Yeah, don't wait for so those loose balls. If you get them, just hit them, but don't wait for them, right? That's been biffed down long on by Kunal for a single. But I can see the tendency right here. They are playing more on the ground now yes. instead of hitting up in the air. Maybe as for what you were saying, see out path. Don't lose any wicket in this over because they will have to go heavy in the next two overs that are remaining. Devan tried to hit, but he will get no, no runs for this particular strike. A valuable dot. And that's the end of the over. The required run rate creeps up to 12 runs and over. Yes. What do you say, Ruth? They have the muscles. They can win it. Only thing is, you know, it all depends on how PI bowls and how PI controls their line and length. If they miss out a little bit. Yes. And seems like Fahad Ahmed is going to bowl the penumulate over. And I, and that's where uh, I, I agree with you, Ruchit. It all depends what happens in this over. 
you can bowl really good yorkers but if you miss out just by an inch or here and there and that can go for six. Oh, the batsmen are very unforgiving in this and uh, couple of sixes right here you know can look like nothing happened so yes 24 ball runs in 12 balls right now and Fahad starts his run uh, delivery run up another valuable dot for PEI PEI is bowling very uh, it seems to be PEI as a strategy over here make CNB work hard for their runs they are not giving anything easy this was a short ball right outside of stump. So if you can swing it and hit it out of the park. So be it. Yeah. But this time Fahad got the better of Kunal. Uh, dot ball. In this format, dot balls are also as good as almost taking a wicket. It's, uh, it's just going to build more pressure on the team and batsmen. Run rate is required under 13 runs and over. Shah going for going for a wild hit and that has gone Empire signal six runs Richard like what you just said he just repeated the same bowl that's the mistake he made I think so too I think Kunal was expecting it because considering what happened previously Kunal yeah. is a very smart batsman and, you have to give and him it that. all depends on the bowler now how he kind of brings the situation back it's up to him now whether he can keep his calm yes Fahad has to pull it back he will have to yes and if he doesn't right now it's too it's gonna be too late because now this would give kunal a lot of confidence of that hit that he hit it was a well connected shot of the sweet spot of the bat yeah and that's kunal smartly biffed it down long on taken a single devank will go for a second and he has made it in safely very smart batting and by both batsmen devank and kunal this is the reason why we have fitness, why we give importance to fitness in cricket. There was no two runs, it was only single right there, but that only player who could take two runs right there was Diva. And, and he, he made it. Beautiful. CNB needs 16 runs of nine balls. That is well hit. The inside fielder tried to cut it off, couldn't. And they're just taking one run. Rightly said by Kunal. It's the muscle and the brain. Yes. That's a deadly combination. <laughs> but game, get, game, game is getting tensed. PA fielders are throwing themselves to stop each and every run. 15 runs of 8 balls. So less than 12 runs per over. Yeah. That's what one shot can do. Devang hits it down square leg, fielder dives over it, they could potentially take a two runs and I believe Devang will complete it safely. That was very well taken runs, two runs by Devang. So now the equation is 13, ball, 13 runs in 7 balls. Striking zone but not, but uh, this, does, this, is, this is not easy, going to be easy either. It all depends whether it's a boundary or a wicket. Or a wicket. Or a dot. And Fahad has struck off the last delivery of his over. Devang Satwani is out LBW to Fahad Ahmed. Making the game even more interesting. 13 runs in 6 balls. More importantly, a new batsman is getting over there. And now the six balls, they have scored 13 runs. And the next batsman is Raja Sharma, who is well known for hitting those long sixes in CNB in the previous Maritime Cup as well as in the recent Kirkley Maritime Cup as well. And, and it's kind of very clear from CNB side that they just don't want to look into like single doubles. I mean, a six runs, six balls, 13 runs, so only boundaries can help right now. And that is the nature of this tournament, right? You, you you don't have time to settle. You have to get those runs quickly. And the most valuable shot is six runs. So and we just need two of them. Two of them, that's it. To tie the to tie the match. 
But if you want to win, we need to score two sixes and one run. It won't be easy. PI is a very strong team. They were the re uh, uh, they are the reigning Maritime cha champions. Krishdeep. New bowler to the crease is Krishdeep Bagaria. It's a very nice test for him, Mine test of character. Very beautiful view uh, over here, uh, Rochit. Good ground, good weather. Couldn't, we couldn't have asked anything better, right? Yep. Nothing better than this. And looking at the enthusiasm of, of players over here, you know, they were traveling to Moncton, from Moncton to Riverview, I mean, sorry, to St. John or Fredericton, two hours one way to play cricket. And now we have ground over here. We are playing over here. Very good, very good. Oh, now this was very interesting for CNB. It was a wide, so they're gonna, they already taken two runs. And oh, there's a little bit of misunderstanding. And Raja, okay, that's wide, that's wide call. So that's three runs and no ball bowled. So that brings the equation down from 10 runs of six balls. What do you think, uh, Ruchit? As I said, it's a test of characters right, a character right now for the new bowler because can he come back? It's pressure situation, it's not easy for anybody. Can he hold his nose? I, I don't think there could have been any better tournament opener than this match. Very good teams challenging each other. Good shot by Kunal Shah down extra cover. A cover and he's already taken going for two runs. It's a little difficult. Oh, he's going to make two runs because the ball was overthrown. Very valuable two runs, leading to eight runs of five deliveries. What do you call it? Bad, bad calling or bad running or just Kunal wanted to be on strike? I, from my looks of uh, from, from the, the previous from, bowl as well, you know, because I think he wanted to be on strike. That's the reason. Uh, I have a little different viewpoint on that. I, I see him getting a little uh, bending his on his haunches, so he's getting a little little tired, and you don't want to make a mistake when you're tired. That's another good shot by Kunal. And he smartly hit it down the cover point region. They'll be taking two runs. Very, very good two runs. Safe runs. Not, not risky at all. Not risky at all. They were clear too. So. We need six runs and four balls. Richard, you are asking for the one strong hit. Do you think we'll get it now or? I hope we don't try to get it because I see some field placement change. Now there is a fielder right oh. there on the point. Oh yeah, the backward point. It, yes. So two shots went over there. I think that's a very good smart move. Last by thing the we captain. want is having a wicket over here for CNB. I think so. Agreed. Especially Kunal striking the ball very well. Oh, as an appeal for LB leg before wicket, and it's been given by the Empire Path Varma. Batsman looks a little distraught, but he will have to make his way to the pavilion. We have a new batsman, Harman Jyot Singh, making it to the crease. So, so another wicket goes down. The game is still on. Yes. You know, in cricket, they always say the match is not over till the last ball is bowled. Just when you thought like three wides, then two doubles. And you felt like CNB got their games. Came in the I came back strong, very strongly over here. Just getting Kunal out. Now Raja hasn't faced a single ball. Harman has also neither faced a single Harman ball. Two new batsmen. But it's still right there. Just one hit. Yes. One hit. And uh, just want to give all the viewers a heads up. After the three deliveries are completed, the next match will resume right away. It is uh, it's going to be the match between uh, Cricket Newfoundland and Labrador and uh, Nova Scotia Cricket Association. Newfoundland won the toss and they'll be fielding first. Just, just, wanted, just wanted to surprise everybody for a quick start of innings. Was it a single, Baruchit? It was a single, yeah. Giving strike to Raja. Five runs of two balls. 
Pressure is his captain in CNB tournament. Yes, for Vice Cricket, Cricket Club. That's a big shot, and that has gone over boundary. And that's six runs, Rachit, like you just said. Just one shot. Raja is the best person for that, and that's what you got. Okay. I think I'm going to end my commentary duty. I thank you. Rachid, I'll let you continue over here. Yeah. What channel do you have? I don't know. 23 feet. You want to check it? Check it. This is for the scores, right? 3 3. three. Yeah. Let's go. Hello, hello. Yeah. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Okay, could you increase the volume on this? It's all right. I'm going to take mine. And they are feeling. Yeah, I told them. I, oh, I you told them? them? Okay. Can I have the captain for the board? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll so yes. Uh, Newfoundland won the toss, okay? And they are fielding first. Newfoundland, how do you pronounce it? Newfoundland and the other team? And Labrador. No, Newfoundland and Labrador and Nova Scotia Cricket Association. Huh? Nova Scotia and Nova Scotia. Koi Badni, Koi Badni. You have the new ball? I have the new ball with me. Okay. 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 Okay.
You won't land won the soft toss, they elected to bowl first. Okay, so Newfoundland ball first. Yes. Okay, Rochet, you're on. Yep. Who is the striker? Ready? I just came in one moment. So, who's the striker? Who is the striker from the Nova Scotia team? Who's the striker? Hey, Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. He's from Newfoundland. Who's the striker? Who's the striker name? Amit Joshi, strike pay, non strike pay, Neil Patel. Non strike pay? Neil Patel. Oh, okay. Done, 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 done. is about to begin. Newfoundland and Labrador chose to bowl first. Nova Scotia is batting. Joshi is on strike and the bowler name is Ibnul Imam Chaudhary. Starting with the spin, that's the way to go. It all matters on how you can control your pitching. The speed doesn't matter, the bounce doesn't matter. If it comes into the bat, it goes. Just 60 balls to bowl. Perfect length to bowl, not a good length, not half volley, batsman doing the right thing, taking single. And not risking his wicket. So on the strike batsman now is Neil Patel, uphill right away and chance of run out oh they had plenty of chance to get the batsman out amit and neil were literally hand shaking right there at the striker stand i don't think they completed the bat, so it's a bat yeah he didn't show the leg back so So one run taken after short ball and that's a six. That's what happens when you start with the spin ball. The ball is new, the ball is hard, it can go far and if you miss the line, if you miss the length, this is exactly, exactly what happens. The batsman pulled it right behind square leg. There was a fielder right there, but it doesn't matter.
a short delay before the next ball is bowled. And the ball stopped. It was hit right on long on. There was no fielder over there. Fielder from wide-ish mid wicket ran over there and stopped the ball. But Amit and Nil took two runs right there. So Ibnul started really well with two very well controlled balls. This one didn't bounce much, it just kidded in. Smart playing, uh, smart batting by uh, Nova Scotia. If the ball is right there to hit, they are going to hit it. If it is not good, easy to hit, they will take singles. Again, miscommunication, luckily, no damage done. One over is completed and 11 runs without any damage. Oh. Amit will be the best on strike now. So Ruel Mia is the next bowler. We are finally seeing some pace bowling. Getting the run up ready. And bro, like do we have old balls here? Huh? Old balls? Yeah, yeah. Just one? Yeah, two. Two, right? Okay. Bowled a good length bowl, gave enough time to the batsman, he just went back and pulled it right on top of Longhorn. There was no fielder over there, so it was a safe shot. Went for six. Amit is play playing really well right now. 16 runs from five bowls, two hits out of the park. It was a nice shot towards the point, single taken. This is exactly what happens when you are given a chance and you don't get the wicket. On the very second ball of the match, there was a run out opportunity. Close to a yokel length ball. Batsman tried to flick it on the leg side, missed it. Wide given. So right now, nine balls. 19 runs. Now wide on the offside. White. Yes. This is exactly what happens when you are hit for the first ball outside the park. Pressure. job for him to make sure he doesn't concede more than 10 runs from the over. Smart 
batting, ball was right outside the off stump. Played it down the third man for one run. Very smart batting by Amit. If he's not able to hit it out of the park, he's taking singles. He's making sure the strikes are getting rotated. And there are no dot balls. Swing and a miss for Neil again. White. It's huh? white. It's not in live. Thank you. Amit Joshi. <laughs> Do you know this players? Have you played with them? Uh, he played for um, played in Maritimes, right? I was umpiring there. He played well in Maritimes, I think. Were you from Moncton? Okay. Moncton, yeah. Nice walkie talkie with the umpires, yeah. I have crossed two times. What? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. ball was that high. <laughs> yeah, no, Amit is on the strike. Anthony is in a non strike. So Amit is still there. Neil go down. from there, right? Is yeah, bad, Thank you. 
पूरा गांव का नाम लेके आया देखो हमें टाटा डजन रन मच तो चांसेस आर ये bouncy like none of them were like no, no, no. Okay. i know but it's even it's not yeah, like one ball goes low and one ball goes up no, no, really yeah so that's nice then i thought it right through the line you know it's not like a surprise but this is a good pitch to uh, bat like you know you can't play on the back back foot too much because the ball will rush to you so you know couple of balls i saw the balls were still rising when they pulled the ball so it was like it's difficult to yes, hit the ball when it's still rising you can just try to pull it's not going to happen it's come on too quick to you so when you try to pull it's going to go in here
this game you don't want me to tell anything right you'll yeah, be yeah, having yeah, like 12th yeah, man yeah, sitting yeah, here yeah. more game right minute close right helmet thing maybe one minute close right yeah yeah we don't want to pan spin like the baller right bowling team right
White. Bro, I don't understand him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. When the match gonna start on that? They want to give the 11 to you or like doing the app? Okay. You can update here. Right?
sixes and for four runs, very good placement of the slips. Koini Aman! Let's go Aman! Koini Chakra Virat! Haki ball ke, ball ke! Running ball.
Get in the air towards mid wicket. And that's six runs. That's a flick. Effortless. But I'm pretty sure that was a well hit hit, which would have cleared any cricket ground despite the boundary size. There could be a possibility they may need a change in ball. The ball may have got lost. Someone said, Carlo, 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 go, Carlo, 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 Definitely nothing much. That can just go back to run up and fight it for a better ball next time. The batsman to sit towards extra cover. Field of cover, try to cover to block the double. It's only one run. is looking very healthy at this moment. Taimur Malik is batting at the strike rate of 250% while Shreyas is going at 169%. That shows how much they're dominating the bowling so far. This is putting the pressure on bowler. Another good hit. And this one is going over long off. Down the ground for a boundary. Four runs. Very good batting by, uh, by Taimur. Quebec's score at the end of four overs is 55 runs for the loss of no wickets. And the projected score is 138 runs. This is looking very difficult for Cricket New Brunswick at this moment and requires drastic measures. 55. Yeah. Yeah. Very good hit down towards deep mid wicket.
Taimur hits it down the ground and Rakshit feels it and fires it in towards the wicket keeper. One run. Let's go, let's go, good job, good Seen be having some sort of a, uh, restriction going on with the scoring. Oh, that was a good ball by Sakib. Another dot ball for the over. Quebec is going at a very healthy clip. A couple of dot balls should not bother them. Another ball and well fielded by Sakib. He controlled the, this over. Just four runs of this over. One of the least runs given for this innings to Quebec. Fifty-nine runs of five overs, almost twelve runs in over. Quebec is having a Quebec has a very healthy start. CNB has to take some quick measures where they have to restrict these runs as well as take wickets. Otherwise, these batsmen are well set to take the scoring rate well above 130. And in a 10 over innings, that is a very difficult task to chase. Gurjan Singh, a new sensation of cricket, New Brunswick, who's going to bowl left arm over the wicket. He's known to swing the ball very well. First ball, hit towards square leg. And strike is given to Shreyas Mova. Gurjan so far has played 13 matches, taken 8 wickets at economy rate of 5.78 in CNB. Very good bowling statistics. Let's see if, if he can repeat that at, a Eastern, at a, such a big premier tournament. And a flick shot, and that's gone for four runs. Great shot by Shreyas Mova. Pulled it very well, almost to, uh, towards the ground. Not risky at all. Have they got it? The ball has been found. It will be very interesting to see what what follows from here. Another good shot and that has gone into the marshes. It cannot, this ball cannot be collected. Six runs, six runs in any ground if it had gone. That would have cleared any cricket ground. Wonderful shot by Shreyas Moa. Picked it up the length very quickly, judged the pace and send the ball packing for six runs. This is an excellent batting. This is very good display of presentation of batting for the, the New Brunswick crowd in Riverview. And we are very happy to see such talent to play front of us. Good advertisement for cricket. And this has prompted the ball change as well. We have very good diligent empires working uh, around the clock, making sure the ball is on the field. And play continues. And very good spectators were cheering the team as much as possible. Ball, That's a nice shot. Boy, a run out chance. Yeah. Oh, and almost missed. Good one, Anton. Good one, Anton. It was a risky single. But the batsman is safe and is going to play, continue playing. No, no, we have two more boxes. Two more. Yeah. Ah. There are two more. Mm -hmm. 
and that is a that's a dot ball for the over seems like the empire is telling the bowler to not to come front of him if the bowler continues to do that if there is an appeal for a leg before wicket or caught the empire will do circumstances will not give out because if he cannot see it he will not give it simple as that that's a very good shot by taimur just to sh short mid off one run collected very good batting by kubek either taking singles or hitting the boundaries very good healthy batting excellent batting 6 overs have been completed and kubek is at 72 to 2 runs for no wicket loss shreyas mowa is at 36 runs of 21 balls taimur malik is bowling at 32 runs of 15 balls only sakib has bowled a very economical so far haan ji sakib is going to bowl to taimur and a wicket falls taimur malik sakib strucks sakib st uh, sticks to his reputation of a wicket taker and a very well judged catch by divam satwani at deep mid wicket this kind of catches are very difficult because it dips at you to very fast clip but again an experienced campaigner like divank is well taken now suresh ramkishan suresh suraj ramkishan is coming to bat he is a very dynamic left handed batsman i the batsman crossed during when the catch was taken hence he'll be at the non striker's end let's see if this wicket would get some respite for cricket new brunswick or kubek's jogger not keeps on rolling good shot by shreyas down to long long off it's going going for two runs this is excellent batting by kubek put pressure on the fielders made a single into two runs very smart batting That's a very good shot by Shreyas, and that's gone for six. Effortlessly kissed it over extra cover. Very beautiful shot, very elegant to the eyes. Shreyas Moa is at 44 runs of 23 balls, almost 200 percent strike rate. Excellent batting, very smart, and very strategic of bat placement. another shot but sakib but did better it's just one run this gets this gets kubek's captain suraj onto the uh, off a strike very dynamic left hander and is very strong off his legs There's two balls to go for the over. That is in play, cut over D point, and after gets it, gets it in. It's only single. The field is a little slow, hence the ball didn't travel that fast. Sakib's last ball coming up for his bowling spell to Shreyas. That has been hit towards deep extra cover, and that has been effortlessly gone over the towering Raja for six runs. Very smart batting, and that brings Shreyas 50 runs. Very well played, excellent batting. 
This is a very good presentation of batting to the Riverview crowd that is sitting over here and enjoying this batting display. Excellent player played by Quebec. There's a quick change of gloves. Three overs to go and Quebec score reads 88 runs for one wicket and they're looking very good for definitely close to 125 plus. A bowling change has been prompted. Arjun Sharma, the wily off-spinner, has been bought to bowl. He'll be bowling to Suraj. This seems to be a tactical move. And that has been first ball sent across for close to 72 meters hit for six runs. What power! It was well, very good hit. It seems like Suraj selected his spot and then made sure that the ball went there. And that almost would have been catch. Draw, catch has been dropped. And the batsman continues to bat. Two runs accumulated. No, 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 bro. I, I have no issue. See, Suraj, is Suraj over here. Is this somebody else? Yeah, yeah. It was written by them. Okay, we can delete it later on. One run was shot. There's a correction to be noted to all viewers and listeners. The captain name is Suresh Ramkison. And seems like the bowler has got the better of the captain. He is bold. The wily Arjun Sharma strikes. Quebec score reads 95 runs for two loss of two wickets in 7.2 overs. No, no, seven. You just got one ball out, no? No, no, no. One ball out, one ball short, run out, ah. and one ball short. And one, one six. Yeah. Who's the batsman? Puran? Puran Ramkison. Okay. Now there's a new batsman coming in. Puran Ramkison. Is this Suresh's brother? Yeah, Suresh's brother. Okay. And that is uh, the brother of Suresh Ramkison who just got out. It's good to see family members playing together. Like, like my brother playing Quebec. There's a, another family history of uh, Sumit Gore with Pratik Gore who plays in Quebec as well. Yeah, it is a community and a family environment. But there's a rivalry going on. But on the cricket field, it's bat and ball. All other relationships is kept outside the cricket field. Now Arjun has bowled very well for this so, so far. Let's go, let's go, let's go! That has been hit very well towards squarest deep mid wicket. Aman taking in, almost going into the wicket keeper. It is a good throw, direct throw, but the batsman is safe. Very well collected two runs. The batsmen are running very intelligently over there, either taking singles or doubles and then hitting the odd boundary. Has they been doing since the first ball of this innings. A very good hit. Let's see. And this is going over six runs. Very good hit by Puran Ramkison. Excellent batting. Right now, Quebec score reads 103 runs for two wickets at 7.5 overs. Quebec is going at a very healthy pace and the projected score is more than 130 runs 
if they continue batting the way they are and i don't see a reason why not oh it's a leg by signal by the empire one run and that gets and that's the end of the over as well puran maintain strike 104 quebec score reads 104 runs for two wickets at the end of eight overs i'm pretty sure quebec is going to come very hard at cnb they're not going to stop at anything at this time they're going to keep going coming very hard it's going to be a blitzkrieg at given that there are only 12 balls remaining for the innings amandeep has been brought back to complete uh, to bowl the penumulate over oh and that has been continued towards the marshes for a six that shot would have been a six in any cricket ground whether it be 55 meters or 90 meters it was gone it sailed very easily batsman just helped it along no we were just checking we were just checking because you know sat to bola kohli run pad gaye ha we were just checking bola kohli run pad gaye sab ke sab no no more use ball and that has been biffed down towards fine leg fielders are going to collect the ball and bully for one run that gets shreyas mohan on strike was almost carried his bat throughout the innings and looks strong to continue doing so for another eight, 10 balls puran ramkishan strike rate shows 300% that shows how dominating he has been in this short amount of time that's a yorker well bowled towards shreyas but a st single stolen amandeep very smartly bowled it but shreyas was even better all round excellent cricket played the ball has been dropped towards forward short leg for a single aman trying to amandeep trying to control the flow of runs at this time cnb can only do good by making sure Quebec does not get more than singles. We have a very well set batsman in Shreyas and Puran. We can see Quebec through the innings. Oh, that was a dill scooped attempted. And it's a dot ball. The intent was good. by shares but the execution did not work out come on amne come on amne boy let's go amandeep got the better of him this time come on arjun come on satku for ke boy let's go boy that has been biffed and that's easy six runs easy six runs and i say easy because not because it 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 was the way Shreyas hit it. He made it very easy. F very good batting. Flicked off his legs. He seems to be a batsman who is very strong off his legs. And right now, there's a mid conference going on between the umpires and the batsmen. Last over. Quebec score is 119 runs for two wickets. They're looking very strong to get to 130. unless cnb does something good in this last over and gurjan gurjan singh is going to bowl the last over of the innings he is going to have a lot of pressure on him but he has been known to be a very talented bowler who has been given the opportunity to show his talent at a big stage he'll be bowling to puran
and they steal a single. Both the batsmen are safe. The, bats, the umpire is continuing telling the bowler not to come in front of him and rightly so because the umpire cannot make any decision. No, no, we'll go with what the umpire says. Yeah. Now this gets Shreyas on strike who's playing at 58 runs or 28 balls. And Gurjan Singh gets his wicket. Shreyas was out there to make quick runs. He wasn't going to just complete the uh, innings. Very, very well played by him. Selfless cricket. Just looking to beef up the score for his team. Quebec score reads 123 runs for 3 wickets at 9.2 overs. Very good bowling boy, Gurjan Singh. He deserves this wicket. How do I say that? Ramji! There is a new batsman coming to the uh, to the field. The new batsman in is Ramki. <laughs> oh, and he is also a uh, selector for Cricket Canada, and he is known to be a fast bowler. As there are four balls to go, he could send the ball sailing across the boundary rope. If he can do it four times, even less than that, El Stuk do score very good. And that is another wicket run out for Puran. Gautam Karwadi, the wicket keeper and captain of CNB, very accurately struck down the stumps and found Puran short of his crease. Captain. And now this gets captain of cricket, Quebec Cricket Federation to the field, Raheem. There are three balls to go for the over. Raheem Gilani is his name. In 29 matches, he scored 850 runs at an average of 32.69. But I'm sure he's looking to get a lot of score for the team. Three balls to go for the innings to complete. We want to thank the sponsors, First Choice Hair Cutters, Archit Business Solutions, uh, India King Moncton and Town of Riverview. These, these very well established uh, entities uh, support for cr cricket in the town of Riverview is very well recognized. Thank you a lot from all the cricketers and fans and supporters alike. Gurujan coming in to bowl the fourth ball of the over and Raheem hits it down towards extra cover safely for one run. This gets Ramki at, at strike. No, no, no. Quebec score is 120 runs for four wickets with two with with four balls two balls to go for the over. I correct myself 121. There's another trying to steal for the single, but they're not fancying Gautam's arm as he's already taken a wicket already. That Rahim Ramki continues the strike with one ball to go for the over. Already Quebec looks to have accumulated a very strong total and that's a well bifted down towards long on CNB fielders hurrying in to stop it to two one run and given almost but still the batsmen are safe they collected two runs 23 yeah. Of 10 overs, 123 runs for four wickets has been scored. Definitely, this was uh, innings dominated by batsmen. It started by Shreyas Mowa, the wicket keeper, and a prospect for Cricket Canada, and Taimur Malik, 32 of 16, with Puran giving the impetus from 16 runs of seven balls 
to 123 from 4. Very healthy, a very big target. What will be CNB's response? We will see shortly. No, 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 they were 130, they were going. Yeah, they, they, they almost made it. Uh, Jeffin, there are no old balls, huh? So we'll give you new balls from now on. You have the ball? Okay, okay, okay. So we need that ball, huh? This is five overs old, right? I'm not really sure. Okay, okay. Just put, just put five on this one. Okay, so uh, it's thirty. DJ DJ Army. We are back, back on for the last innings of the day. Gautam Karavadi and Shakib Sezad are going to come. It's a right and left combination. Both are very strong batsmen. Anything, anything off margin and they're going to go after it. So CNB is still in the game, but they have to score at 12 runs and over. It will be very interesting to see what they do in the first power play. The, as you can see the scorecard on your screen at this time, Shreya Moa, a Cricket Canada prospect, leads the, leads the scorecard with 58 wonderful runs, almost effortless, very good cricketing shots and this is an excellent display for this Riverview crowd that has come out to see. They have come out for both days and they've been awarded to see such beautiful batting. Now what will CNB do? Please hold on for this last 60 balls for this day. One hour of action packed. Okay. 
उसके बाद घर जाके सोन आराम करना है यार बोलर कौन बोलर कौन बोलो बोलो दीपक पावला ओके दीपक पावला विल बी द ओपनिंग बोलर फ्रॉम क्विबेक क्रिकेट फाउंडेशन I also want to give a big thanks to our scorers over here Anshul Qatar and Guri they have been uh, it's a debut series for scoring they've done an excellent job and I wish them all the best I'm continue they can continue scoring like this and have a probably have a career in scoring we would like to have them among our mess I'm going to I'm going to take them in diamond only <laughs> uh, just a bit about Deepak he has played 34 matches taken 30 wickets With economy of 5.53, so he's definitely not a bowler. He bowled to hit easily. First ball bowled to Gautam was a wide. CNB will take it. Sakib tried to take the single, but Gautam rightly sent him back, and it was a no ball. So a free hit coming up. for cnb let's see what will gautam try to do in this next free hit that's coming up he cannot be dismissed by bold or run out oh no uh, or caught so let's see what he takes and what will be the be deepak's response to make sure that this free hit is not expensive there was no damage done and gautam will continue batting cnb has got a very tough ask 122 runs of 60 balls they have to take almost two runs of every ball is it doable definitely but this is a very strong quebec bowling lineup and that has gone over the boundary let's see what the fielders are going to do they will keep it down to one run this gets the left-handed sakib shehzad for strike for the first time this innings he's a very smart and talented opening batsman in cricket new brunswick on his given day he is very gentle to the eyes with his crisp shots let's see what he could do today for cnb and sakib takes it down towards short square leg for a single getting gautam back on strike deepak is bowling very good line and length over here not giving easy to the cnb batsmen to set their arms free and that's a dot ball very good bowling by deepak giving nothing for gautam it's a tough ask for cnb and that's another one this is a dot ball this will put a lot of pressure on gautam but knowing gautam as a batsman he will come back strong if he stays longer at the crease but it is against a very strong quebec bowling lineup who's going to give nothing away
there was an appeal for a leg before wicket but umpire does not give it and that's the end of that's the end of first over four runs for loss of no wickets cnb's required run rate is 13 runs from for the next nine overs There's a new bowler, Har Simranjit. His, bo his bowling statistics should come up any moment. 33 matches, 33 wickets. Very excellent economy of 5.16. Against Sakib Shehzad. And that's a wide. The Empire calls wide. One run to CNB's total. CNB has to get 120 runs of 54 balls. A aggressive intent from Sakib, but was not able to connect to this ball. So it's a dot ball. Him, her Simranjit is really bowling smartly over here, giving nothing for Sakib. That's edge behind. That's going towards deep third man. That area of the ground is sloping downwards, yet the fielders are able to cut it off. Batsman return for two runs. Sakib hits it in the air and Shreyas goes to the catch and that's out. Harf Simran st strikes first blood. And that's caught by wicketkeeper Shreyas, called rightly and safely taken. Very, very good. This kind of catches the wicketkeeper should take because they have the other one with the gloves. And they can definitely take it and this is very well judged by Shreyas. Now, there's a new batsman coming. No, no, no. Yeah, no. Now this brings Kunal Shah on strike. He will be at the non-striker's end since the, both the batsmen crossed when the catch was taken. Okay, first unofficial warning. Uh, Kunal Shah. Kunal Shah. Uh, the the Quebec team had formed a huddle after the wicket, hence they've been given a first official warning to not to maintain huddle. Uh, we are still in the COVID times, hence huddles or high fives or shaking hands is not is not al allowed. This bring Gautam on strike. Hit strongly, almost a catch, almost carried. Very good effort by the fielder, but Gautam survives for another delivery, for another time. Har Simranjit is bowling really, very well. Almost had a second wicket. That has been hit in the air by Gautam. A fielder has called it, and another wicket down. So both the openers are back in the pavilion. The fielder at 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 deep at short uh, mid on took a very well judged catch. Now there's a new batsman, Rakshit Sharma Raja. He is known to hit the ball away. And CNB does need a lot of momentum going. They are right now seven runs, two wickets down with less with one ball remaining for the second over. And the run rate is 14.33. It's a very difficult game. 
none of the batsmen as a sorry i take it back it's a very difficult format as the batsmen don't have time to get their eye in but they have to just go right from ball one and that's where very good uh, bowling teams take advantage and give nothing away making batting team uh, to do mistakes none of the batsmen have faced the first delivery yet that's kunal's first ball and that's completion of the over cnb 7 runs for loss of 2 wickets and required run rate is almost 15 and deepak pabla will continue to bowl he bowled a very good over one over four four runs confirm just say confirm confirm the batsman has asked for a helmet uh, and rightly so because you're going to face a fast bowler safety is always a priority it's good to play without a helmet but you need to keep safety in mind always because it always takes just takes a one ball to get a very bad injury very good decision by the batsman and that's a wide called by the empire that has been hit by raja towards straightest deep mid wicket for a single this gets kunal shah on strike Kunal tries to cut it away, but the but a very good dot ball by Deepak. Deepak has assessed the situation very well. He knows he just has to bowl line and length, give nothing away. The pressure is on the batting team, not on the bowling team. Batting team has to make things happen now. The the required run rate is creeping up at 15 runs and over. Here comes Deepak, and another faster delivery. giving nothing away almost and the empires has given one one shot ball for the over warning there was a little bit of dispute but uh, the fielding team has in good spirits taken the empires decision and continue playing there's a field change been asked for there's a square leg coming in and that has been cut very well by kunal to a fielder at third man very good shot for a single once again we like to thank our sponsors for this tournament first choice hair cutters they have three locations moncton riverview and diap and this was a very well placement shot by raja sharma but it's only one run and it's a no ball call by the empire so a free hit for cricket new brunswick so this is a opportunity for uh, cnb to make some damage 
without having the fear of getting dismissed. Here comes Deepak. No damage done. Very good bowling by Deepak. He ensured that CNB could not take advantage of this free hit. Very good comeback. CNB needs 112 runs and 43 balls. It keeps getting difficult. CNB needs to get a move along. A lot of pressure on the batsman. Well placed by Kunal down the ground for a single. This is very smart bowling by Quebec Cricket Federation. Nothing, di nothing different, just bowling and uh, making CNB to get the hard runs. Harsh Simran has come back to bowl. He bowled an excellent first over, three runs, very miser, but importantly dismissed both CNB openers without any damage. Very good bowling and he's come back. He could have an impact in this over with his very intelligent bowling. Doesn't hit down the ground, uh, the stumps. Uh, Raja is still safe and uh, no run taken. The current partnership is six runs of nine balls and it seems like the Quebec bowlers are bowling very intelligent, almost giving nothing away. It, this is a very intelligent bowl, very intelligent bowling unit. And a great shot by Kunal, but there's a fielder at long off, restricting to only one run, but a very good looking shot. Raja tried to strike that away, but it was very bold by Har Simranjit. You can see he's bowling very intelligently, giving nothing in Raja's arc. Very excellent bowling. Raja biffs that to short extra cover but for a dot ball this is where Quebec is doing all the basics correctly they're not doing anything extraordinary just sticking to their basics they know it is a difficult target for CNB and they're just making it even more difficult it's like a python trying to put a, a stronghold uh, around the around, around its victim making it very difficult as time is going by Another run to CNB's to total. The CNB current run rate is less than four runs and over. Not encouraging. In such format, there has to be almost eight or nine runs and over. Kunal took another single. This clearly shows how well Quebec is bowling. End of over. 16 runs for the loss of two wickets CNB. And the required run rate is 18 runs per over. 108 runs with 36 balls. Okay. The new bowler has been bought in. His name is Ramki. His statistics will be shorted. His name is Ramki Gangasani. 18 matches, 13 wickets for 5.94 economy. Very, very smart bowler, it looks like. Oh, and that has been placed, and that could be. Oh, it was in the air for a while, but Kunal is safe and takes one run. That is, the empire is signaling it is first short ball for the over.
Raja biffs that towards midwicket. Deep midwicket fielder coming in and making sure they don't take more than a run. Every ball is, every delivery is making it difficult for cricket New Brunswick. Right now, the required run rate is almost creeping at 19 runs and over. What will CNB do? Oh, and that was in the air. But Kunal will take one more run. Batsman stroll across for second. Riskless cricket. But they need to get a move along. And Kunal cuts it towards, and it's a well judged catch. Wow, the fielder didn't have much time to react. Temur, it's Temur Malik, the opening batsman. Very intelligent catch. He made sure that he was within the playing area and made sure took a catch. Unfortunately, Kunal Shah is out and he will have to move, uh, come back to the pavilion. This gets Divang Satwani at crease. He is well known to play quick innings. It's going to be tough for him. But, but he has no option. Devang Satwani. Great job, man. So now the yeah, uh, their stats are showing up for longer time. So next time I'm gonna display a screen tomorrow here. Okay. So once you see their stats, you can do a commentary on it. On them. Right away. And Devang first ball smokes it for six runs. Wow. Simply wow. He is in a mood. He's not come to stay there. Just score, score, score. Yeah, six, yeah. The first six of CNB innings coming in the fifth over by Devank. What will Ramki do? And another shot coming. And this could be. And this is outside the boundary line for another six. Very good aggressive batting by Devang Satwani. He has come in a very determined frame of mind. He's not going to hang in over there. CNB still has hope. Giving a lot of cheers to the CNB supporters. Oh, and the over is completed. CNB is 32 runs in three uh, for five overs for the loss of three wickets. Finally, CNB's run rate gets to six runs and over. The new bowler from Quebec is going to be is going to be Interpreet. Interpreet Randawa. Interpreet Randawa. Uh, his statistics should come up any moment. 35 matches, 26 wickets. 5.35 economy. Very economical bowler. And what's the overs? This is sixth over coming now. The required run rate for CNB is 18 runs. It's it's mathematically. Imp difficult for CNB, but again, cricket is a game you never say never. Let's see what the batsman at crease can do. Indapreet will be bowling the sixth over of Quebec's bowling innings, and that ball stayed at the popping crease. Another dot ball by Quebec. Raja will take strike for two in the pre. And he biffs it down towards long on. And that's four runs. Seems like the floodgates are opening for CNB. This has got the CNB supporters cheering. It's always good to see the enthusiasm in fans and supporters. 
this spurs the players to perform better. There's an immediate field change. And now there's a cover at deep mid wicket. Raja hits a big shot. And this ball is high in the air. And that's been taken cleanly by Quebec fielder who was, was placed specifically for that shot. His name is Deepak Pabla. So Raja will have to come back to the pavilion after hitting a good convincing shot the previous delivery. This gets Nitin AR to the screes. He was the CNB's most valuable batsman in the recently concluded Maritime Trophy. He was in a very fine form and now he gets a chance to show his talent. Between the catch, Devank and Raja had crossed. So Devank will take strike to the, to the next delivery. It is difficult, hence the batsmen are going to go swinging. Indapreet came very strongly after getting hit for a four he took a wicket and now he's bowled a dot ball this was a wide ball I correct myself not a dot and that's a shot by Divank and this has gone into the marshes prompting for a ball change Devank seems to be in a fine form. What a shot. What a shot by Devank. Excellent batting. Risk free. But maximum score. Very good Devank. Seems like the, there is still fight in this match. CNB is going to go down swinging. Devank just has played three balls but scored 18 runs of three sixes with a strike rate of 600%. Amazing. Another one, inside edge to the bat. Devank is a little upset with himself because he wanted to have this sailing over long leg as well. But never mind, there'll be another one. Indapreet is bowling very intelligent, giving nothing away for Devank. And what a shot by Devang. Is that a 4th 6? And that is a 4th 6 for Devang. Excellent batting. What batting. He is taking the Quebec bowlers on. Excellent batting by Devang. With that 6, CNB score is 49 runs of 6 overs but for the loss of 4 wickets and their run rate is 8.17 for the first time this batting innings. New bowler, his name is Malinga. New bowler's name is Dayan Malinga. That was a very good over for CNB. 17 runs came, but for the loss of a wicket. CNB needs 75 runs of 24 balls. Fans and spectators, I urge you not to lose hope. Gayan Malinga, he's a right arm leg break. This is his debut. There's a request for another ball. No, we don't have use balls. Some very big sixes have been hit. Hence, the ball is getting lost at a very frequent rate over here. I'm sure the organizers won't mind it because that's entertainment for the spectators. A well-deserved for the spectators who have held on steadfast despite rain creating havoc on Friday morning. 
This gets Nitin on strike. Once again, Nitin was a top scorer for CNB at the recently concluded Maritime tro Trophy. And that has been set across. And it's one run. Good fielding by the fielder. Puran. Puran did very good fielding. It's I say very good because at his end, the field is sloping downwards, which makes it to judge the fielding very difficult at that moment. Excellent fielding by Puran. Now this gets Divang at strike. What is Divang going to do? Oh, and that he almost shocked him over there. And he's trying to go for a double. It's a risky one and rightly sent back by Nitin. Very good by Nitin. That was very intelligent bowling by Malinga. He knew what was Devang's intent and bowled in the block hole. Empire has called it off. Something's wrong. Oh, there was a, maybe a bug in his eye. That was a dead ball. It's getting uh, towards dark over here, so there will be a lot of bugs. And what a shot by Nitin! Oh, and he's out. There was a fielder specifically for that shot over there. Unfortunately, he's out. He has to go back to the pavilion. And Herman Jot will be the next batsman. Puran, Puran, Puran. Hold on, hold on. I take my word back. There is a... There is a discussion between empires because I'm not quite sure what it is, but we will know shortly. So we request uh, everybody to hold on. So seems like Nitin may continue batting. Uh, no, Nitin has to come back. He's been declared out. It was a very good catch by Puran at the at the long leg, deep long leg. Harman Joth will take strike. There must have been some sort of confusion. They crossed. Yeah. So Divan is taking strike. No, no, Harman is coming. Oh, no, 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 not strike. No, no. Divank will take strike because when the catch was being taken, the batsman had crossed. Seems like this particular match, Divank is the only lone ranger who's trying to do something. He's a guy, he's a batsman player who says never say who never says never. What can he do? What a shot! And this is another risky one. Oh, what a good fielding by the fielder. He stopped a definite six. It has gone for four runs. It, it was a six, but he stopped. He almost got, got to a blinder. Very good fielding by the field, number 12 jersey fielder. And But Divang in the meantime accumulates four runs. That was Vivek who almost pulled a blinder. Excellent fielding. This is very good for cricket. All rod cricket. Gan is going to come back. And another shot by Divang. He is swinging wild. Taken one and he's arranging back for the second. Wow. Divank is really pulling it very strong. 29 runs of 7 balls. 414% strike rate. Unbelievable. 55 for 5 CNB in 6.4 overs with required run rate 20 per over. 69 runs of 20 balls. What will Diwang do now? And a shot. This is in the air. And it is six runs. Diwang is really going strong. What a shot. Excellent batting by Diwang. This is Diwang's home ground for his favorite club, which club space for. He is playing really, very well. Spectators are doing a really great job making sure the ball doesn't get lost. And we need to commend Sumit Gore for it. Making sure the ball doesn't get lost. Great job, Sumit. Divang's score reads 37 runs of 9 balls. 
aided with one boundary and five sixes for 400 strike rate. Suresh Ramkusan is going to be the new bowler. He is the captain of cricket, uh, Quebec Cricket Federation. Three overs. So, Suresh Ramkusan is going to be bowling left arm medium and that is a dot ball. Very intelligent bowler who makes sh who make sure not to give anything away easily. Harman Jot will face Suresh and he has placed it very intelligently for a one run. He knows Devank is in good form and he's correctly given him strike. Devank was not in good form in maritime, so he would have been under immense pressure. But this innings is going to give him a lot of confidence. What clean striker of the ball. What he can do in the next 17 deliveries. 16 deliveries. 60 runs needed. This is a team that believes in the match is not over till the last ball is bowled. And here comes Suresh. And that has been hit towards long on for a single. And they are hurrying for a second. Very good batting by both batsmen. They have converted a single into a double. Excellent batting. Very intelligent batting. CNB score is almost at 9 runs and over, but unfortunately, it's a little too late and the required run rate is 24, almost 24 runs and over. Again, never say never. What a shot by Devang, but it's only really going to be one. Wait a minute, are they going to convert that into two? And they are taking it, making it two runs. What a dive! And that is going to go for another run. They're going to go for another run. So they made a single into three runs. It was an overthrow. The fielding team wanted to get Devank out. Oh. The empire is called one shot, unfortunately. Two runs, two runs. Two runs. Six nine runs of almost eight eight overs. Do we have the light meter? Yes, we do. Yes. Do we have? It's in my truck over there. But there's two overs left. I can't speak to both of you. Suresh is going to continue bowling. What a shot by Harman Jot. That has gone over deep. That has gone for. F what a shot by Harman Jot over cover point for six runs. Wow. Excellent batting. This is a CNB team that believes never giving up and they're still trying to make a match out of it. Last ball is going to come. CNB needs 50 runs of 13 balls and that is gone towards short fine leg for a quick single. Now there are two overs remaining and CNB needs 49 runs. And with Devank on strike at 41 runs of 11 balls, 5 sixes and 1 boundary, 372% strike rate. And that's going to be Malinga who's going to continue bowling. He, he did take a wicket in the previous over, despite giving 14 runs. This was a difficult task for CNB right from the outset. 
but CNB is doing his level best to make a fight out of it and that is how a good exhibition of cricket is done. Harman is going to face the Gyan Malinga and he has hit it, edged it towards cover point for a single, getting Devank on strike. CNB needs 48 runs of 11 deliveries, a, a Mount Everest target. But again, let's see what Dewan can do out of it. Come on, Dewan! First ball, and that's going. The fielders are in. And that's six runs by Dewan. Dewan is really making a fight out of this match. He is going down swinging hard. Excellent batting by Dewan. CNB needs 42 runs of 10 balls with Devang at 47 runs of 12, 12 balls. He is really batting very well, Devang. This kind of batting exhibition you can only see in person you to admire it. And that was a dot ball. Gayan got the better of Devang this time. He knew Devang was going to go after him. CNB needs 42 runs of 9 balls. That was a faster leg break by Gan Malik, uh, Malinga. It's going to be 1. And Divank is coming back for 2. And he's made it in safely. He put in a dive. That shows the selfless playing for his team. 2 leg buys. What batting for his team he's doing. He's giving his everything, Devang Satwani. Total team player. Who's three short of, of a well-deserved half-century. And a water shot! That is going far, far and far away. For six runs. What a shot by Devang. And that gets Devang 50. A well-deserved 50 of 15 deliveries. Excellent batting. Too good. If you have not watched this match live, I hope you go on YouTube and watch the highlights. Well deserved highlights. Now that shot prompted a ball change because the ball is lost. CNB needs 34 runs of 7 deliveries. What will CNB do? It's a new one. The fielding team were very diligent and they were able to find the ballers hit in the, uh, into the bushes. Devank is batting a blinder over here. 53 runs of 15 deliveries. What batting. What a batting. Excellent batting by Devank. This is wonderful batting. If any youngsters are watching out there, this is how you approach difficult targets. You do not give up till the end. Cricket is a team game made up of 11 players. Somebody is going to do something. And what a shot! Another one that has gone into the marshes. This will not be collected. We need a new ball on the field now. What batting by Devang. Excellent batting. Twenty-eight, twenty-eight. With the batting that Devang has done, he has made the target one over twenty-eight runs. Can CNB do it? Do you believe it? If not, was we'll sit back and watch what he's going to do. Suresh, Suresh, Ram, we'll carry it later on. We'll carry it later on. Now. I can't hear him. What is it? They're saying like they're gonna bowl with the spinner. Like uh, they cannot bowl uh, with the medium paper at this time. Okay. So they want to go with the spinner. So that's what they said. So okay. The there has been a, uh, a communication from on field because the light is going down. 
keeping the bats, uh, keeping the player safety in mind. The bowler will be bowling spin and not be bowling fast. A very good decision. CNB needs 28 runs of six balls. A very difficult ask, but again, it was impossible few overs ago. And another, and that's going to be a dot ball. Oh, it's a wide. Never mind. I take it back. It's a dot ball, and the CNB supporters are cheering it. Now they need 27 runs of six balls. Next delivery. Another shot getting Diwang on strike. Or will they take a double? No, I think they're going to put Diwang on strike. So the equation is pretty clear for everybody here. 26 runs of five deliveries. Wow, what batting by this young man. He's almost taking the game all on his shoulders. Excellent batting. And that's going to be... That's a dot. That's a wide. The Empire signals uh, wide. This makes CNB's target 26 runs of five of 25 runs of five uh, five deliveries. What what a performance by CNB! Excellent. This is how champion teams are made. Never give up. You're always in the match. And Devank is playing a blinder of an innings at this time. What a shot! And this has gone in the air. And he's taken a good catch by the fielder. Vivek has taken a very good fielder. And Devank's innings completes. Vivek, Vivek. A good batting by Devank. He's getting a nice applause. By the, t by the supporters, he seems a little disappointed, but he has given, if he, anybody has given a chance for CNB, it is this young man. Stand up and clap hands for him. Very good job, young man. Next batsman is Aftab Patel, who will be taking strike. That's a good shot by Aftab. It's running very fast, the deep fine leg. And they're taking two runs at this time. Three this Three runs? Two, 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 two. Three balls left? Yeah, three balls left, yeah. Yes. That's balls. three balls remaining. And and they need 22 runs. 20, 23 runs. 23 runs, okay. This was double. Huh? Okay, double, yeah. And that's 100 up. Is that is that 100 for CNB? And that's 100 up for CNB. And that's another good shot by Aftab. Time to take double. They're running across and they will make it for two runs. Excellent batting by CNB and Aftab Patel. Very good batting. That makes it two balls, 21 runs. And another shot down. What will what did the CNB batsman do? They are going to take in two runs. A throw is fired in and he could have been out. Almost. Almost. There is one ball remaining. This last ball and they need CNB needs 21 runs. What a shot. And that has been called wide by the Empire. So now there's going to be... Okay, okay, okay. The last ball coming up. And after hips it towards cover point. And they're trying to take two runs. And that, that's what they're doing. And they almost completed two runs. And... And that's the end of the innings. Match completed. CNB made a match out of this, out of almost nothing. Uh, but Quebec, 
with the dominating performance that they had since for ball one deserved winners by 15 runs by 15 runs and is the man uh, as per the app showing over here shares moa as the well deserved man of the match very good uh, batting he shot off seen uh yes at this time once again i would like to thank our sponsors is because of their financial support this tournament has been able to happen in riverview i want to thank first first choice hair cutters very good premier hair cutting business in the greater moncton area they have locations in mountain uh, on mountain road in moncton and diep on champlain uh, uh road and then in riverview another location then we also like to thank india king moncton they served delicious food for the last day two days kept made sure that the fans spectators players alike were fed very well if you are looking for good quality indian food do think about india king moncton next we like to thank archit uh, business solutions from st john a very strong a uh, business support who uh, supports cricket in st john and now for cnb we would like to thank this very good entrepreneur a generous entrepreneur and last but not the least we want to thank town of riverview town of riverview went out of they are out of their way to make things happen make things happen for the ground over here it's such a good ground over here thank you town of riverview and with this this ends the transmission out of live transmission from hawthorn park i winston this was a signing off with thanks from the scorers anshul and guri and our uh, media producer nick badial with the man behind the scenes making this happen thank you and good night and see you tomorrow morning at 7:30 bye bye yeah.